So I want to do a quick video on my uh, Trek bicycle and specifically on the rear carrier. This is a uh, FX3 I recently got. It is outfitted with a Bon Traeger rear rack system and it has the uh, MIK kind of built into it. The MIK is a... <laughs> Hi puppy. A MIK is a little system to to use to lock in your accessories. And what I've been doing is just, uh, I've just been bungee cording the tackle box to the back of the bike. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a hassle. It's kind of a pain in the neck. So I take the bungees out. I, I put them around the, the rear of the, uh, the bike rack and take them across the top and strap this tackle box when it's all full of my gear down onto the bike. Okay, so here's real quick what um, what I purchased. I got this on Amazon. I can uh, put a link in there, but it's the uh, the MIK mounting system. And you can see on the the diagram, it it shows kind of the mount on the back of the bike, installing a uh, a MIC connector, and then being able to clip this connector, which is one I purchased, onto either a basket. Uh, some saddle bags or, or I guess another type of basket there. This is the actual uh, component that clips into the MIK connector on the bike. And then it also comes with some hardware. So it's got some screws, some washers, and some, uh, it's like little spacers maybe. So I haven't done this yet. This is, the idea is I want to connect this piece onto the bottom of my tackle box. So at the end state, I'm going to have this, this piece centered on the bottom of the tackle box, and then I can just clip my tackle box into the bike rack. Yeah, this is the front. And the front goes into this portion here. You can see the cut out fits right into that notch or that groove forward in and push down and that's locked in really tight and so you're going to mount your in this case my tackle box or your whatever type of carry you want to mount you're going to actually have to screw it into these holes here so the tackle box is going to get mounted on and then instead of having to bungee cord everything onto this this whole piece is going to be able to pop out once I unclick it. Yeah, it comes with this little key, they call it, but really it's just a device to press. Press the release valve here. So you reach in here to that little area and push, click, and then here it lifts and it comes right out. Bam! So. The question now is, how do I install this onto the bottom of my bag, <laughs> right? That's the question. So, obviously I'm going to have to drill some holes or poke some holes with a nail in the bottom of this tackle box. <laughs> All right. He likes it. He's... <laughs> so now I'm going to figure out how to mark, kind of mark the holes here, and then I'm either going to drill it or just punch it with a nail maybe. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Here's what it comes with. It comes with a screw like that. It comes with these spacers, which again, the way that I'm looking at it is this is gonna go on the inside of the bag, right? If I even want these little washers, I could use a different type, but Basically, these are going to go down inside the bag, pop out the back, and attach into here. That, I think, will be the easiest way. So, I'm gonna. Th I think what I can do is center it, push it down. It's really push. Yeah, and that'll make me a mark, and then I'm gonna drill it. 532nd. So I'm going to go with the 532nd drill bit. 
and I just want to I want to keep it tight. I don't need to have a great big gaping hole in there. Push this down. I want it centered. I want it relatively straight. I'm not looking for perfection. Now I'm going to press press this down nice and tight. Press it down over here. Try to do all four. Pressing. I'm going to get a little indentation. And then Good, I can see them all. Quick drill. One. Indentation is here. Two. Indentation. Three. Indentation. Four. That's it. Coming through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. It's coming through nice. Just the washer. Or I guess really I guess I guess this is set up to have the washer going through like underneath that, maybe. Like so. Kind of the washer and that. It's a lot going on. Let's see direction show. Um dun, dun, dun. Doesn't even show the washers. No, it doesn't really show the washers. <laughs> shows the washer there, shows that. Maybe it's supposed to go on this side. It doesn't really fit there though, but, but yeah, it could go. You could put the washer here if you needed it as a spacer. All right, that's actually fairly reasonable. So it's on there. I don't like that washer though. Nope, 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 nope. No washer. That's 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 mucking me up. It's almost as if it needs this as a spacer. Um, because this screw point doesn't go down very deep. So without this spacer, it's okay. So I'm not even sure if I'm getting any of this on camera really, but I'll do what I can. So I'm just taking it, and screwing it in that way. And it is, it's on there. Go back and over here. Come in, yeah, I just go here. Okay, let's do this last one and then I'm gonna have to swap it out. Um, the other, same thing here. I just push the screw through my tackle box bottom if I can. Yeah, come on, let me get through here. It doesn't want to come out. Okay, there's some force with that. Uh, drill. There it comes. Now get it lined up. There we go. And tighten it down. Excellent. So now, now what you can see is I've got them in there. Again, I don't. Okay, so I want to show you just some of the baseline gear. So I've got. Tackle. Got another thing to tackle. Uh, I bring a real small um, collapsible rod. And normally I just kind of put it in the bag, like such. So, yeah, now at the bottom of the tackle box, I'm going to have uh, my big heavy plate. There's the release right here. Uh, here's my connection point uh, right up front. And um, that box is now ready to go. You got the front portion, which just looks straight in there, down the back, and it is installed. Again, to get it off, you can push, push with your finger and just pull that off. Or you can use their, um, you can use the uh, key, you can use the key that's included here, which is kind of nifty, you know, a little key device, but. But really, depending on your setup, you can, you can basically reach in and just push it, take it off. Okay, well that's it. I'll, um, I'll try it out. I'll have to take it for a spin, literally, uh, out and do some fishing uh, with pulling this on and off the bike to see how I like it. But I can just tell you, initial impression, this is exactly 
what I was looking for. And it'll just make jumping on and off the bike uh, so much easier.